Right, today we're going to demonstrate the beep test in this lovely casual farm setting. The standard beep test is run on a 20 meter flat surface with traction that allows for rapid acceleration and deceleration. I've used a tape measure to mark out 20 meters. This is the near side marker in the, and in the distance you should be able to see the far side marker exactly 20 meters away. I'm going to use the beep test pro an Android app with more or less the default settings. I'll just make sure of my favorite settings which are built-in beep, shuttle warning which gives beeps, different ones, at two seconds and one second prior to the turnaround beep. Giving one additional cues to adjust speed. I'm also going to set auto stop. With auto stop the app automatically detects when you've ended the test saves you struggling, sweaty and breathless from pressing the stop save button. Note that you must carry your device when running, which actually helps with the audibility of the voice cues and beeps, and it's recommended that you place the device on the ground when done. Also, I'm going to use the Luke Ledger version of the test. This is the original version, designed by the creator of the beep test, Luke Ledger, which requires each level to last approximately 60 seconds. The other popular version of the beep test requires each level to last at least 60 seconds. In practice, what this means is that if running the Luke Ledger version, one would typically run a, a few shuttles less than if running the alternate version. Maybe three or four shuttles fewer through the entire test. In my opinion, and confirmed through actual running Actually, running both tests, the difference is insignificant. Okay, enough talk. Let's swing into action. So, if, you're, if you aren't familiar with the beep test, you start slow. Every minute, the required speed goes up by 0.5 kilometers per hour. You must touch the marker at or before the beep goes. If you miss that touch twice in a row, that marks the end of the test. Five, four, three, two, one, one, one. Okay, tips when running the beep test. First, don't run and wait. That is, try to run at an even speed that gets you to the turnaround marker just as the beep goes off. Second, when touching the marker and a single foot touch is okay, you should already be facing the other way. Finally, don't bother too much about others' results. Instead, focus on your trend line. The beep test is a great proxy for aerobic fitness, which in turn is a great proxy for general health. So your aim in using the beep test is to monitor your fitness every once in a while, maybe once a month or once in three months. And between tests to stick to an exercise regimen that keeps you healthy, tough, and happy. Two, four. Seven, one. Seven, two. Seven, three. Seven, two. 
seven four. Oh. <sighs> 